Hello and welcome to all you cool kids out there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net and I am here tonight to share with you these awesome little collage photos that I just um, sewed up and they're really simple. It's just a little flower plus, um, maybe my light is too much. It's just a little flower and a, the little mini photos that are in my store. There's only a couple left. Um, but I basically just printed out a couple of my ephemera sets, really, really tiny. It's about four pages on one that I printed. Um, let me post the links to all the items that I used. Um, here are the mystery boxes that I use. I use the mini photos, which there's only a couple of, um, as well as I used my uh, floral mystery boxes, which is right here. I also used, you could also get the photos are a printable in my store and you can pick those up and print them out yourself. Like I said, all I did was print out four pages on one and I printed them out on photo paper. So that is what I used to make these. Good night, baby. So that's uh, so what I'm going to be doing tonight. And it's really simple. The photos come to you already cut out just like this really tiny. They're about just a little bit over an inch and about two inches tall. And I'm going to be using uh, the flowers from my mystery boxes. And I'm going to be using really, really small flowers to make these collages. So they're going to be really, really small. Hi, Lori. Welcome. And so I'm looking through and I'm trying to pick out the smallest flowers I could possibly find. Or something like this where I can put it off to the side and it fits pretty good. So I think that's going to look cute. And I'm going to be using white thread to be making these little collages. And I'm not going to use any glue because I usually don't when I sew. You kind of just hold them together <laughs> while you run it through the sewing machine. <coughs> and I have... I forgot to show off my sewing machine. So I am using the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125PRW. Um, that's my sewing machine. <coughs> and I'm using um, just the regular zigzag stitch. And I'm actually using the default uh, setting. So I'm not changing anything about it. And I'm just making sure that the photo, there's like a couple of little notches. Ooh, let me move my camera back a little bit. Maybe you can see. There's a couple little notches right here. Um, hi, Jay. There's this little, there's a couple little, little uh, things that go inside, right? So I make sure that the, the, the photo is on this edge right here. Uh, where the last one is and that way it kind of like sews along the edge. It's a little bit better It makes the thread go on the other side of your photo. Also, I really like it. Yeah, these are adorable you'll love it So these turned out really really cute and as you guys know I'm working on my 2019 spring junk journal collection uh, so I need to make a lot of embellishments. I already have pretty much a lot of them, but I'm just stacking up. I need more. And um, as you guys know, I am going live here from Las Vegas, Nevada. And I go live every Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, you can catch me here doing something junk journal related. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, do make sure and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to the next milestones. I can do a nice giveaway for you guys. Um, and I do appreciate it so, so much. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Aw, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'd actually been thinking about this all day, like doing this specific uh, project. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I try and try things out before I actually go live to make sure it comes out correctly. And these were just so cute. Hi, Bonnie. Aren't those adorable? Just the, the smallest little flowers um, that are in my mystery boxes. And these little teeny tiny photos. Now, there's only a couple of these sets left. Hi, Lizzie. Hey, Eula. Welcome, everybody. There's only a couple of these uh, photo sets left. And then I'll have to restock and put them back up for sale. 
But for now, there's a couple left and you can grab them. I did leave the link. Um, look at this one here. Yeah, that would be cute. Some really teeny tiny photos. Of course, you can print out your photos to be about this size also. I don't know. I think they might do it for you like at Walgreens. Just your photos, you just print them out really, really tiny, like even smaller than wallet size. I don't know if they let you. But that would work also with your photos. Here we go. That's adorbs. Love it. Let's move on to the next ones. I just pick out a random one. I'm not really being too choosy here. It's okay if I use the same flowers because they'll go in different journals. So, oh, this will look prettier though. I guess I tend to like to put them on the right hand side corner. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. They look good there for me. I don't know. There we go, right there. Too cute, so little, so tiny. <laughs> Now, let's go on to the next photo. Just randomly grab it. This little wedding scene. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's an even bigger one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see where I put this one. Oh, this would look pretty with this big one. Okay, let's do that. Your quilter sent, your quilter mom sent you four and a half pounds box of fabrics. Wow, Bonnie. Wow. That sounds like fun. He looks adorable. You could, of course, just glue these. You don't have to sew them. But it does take it to the next level. It does. Precious. Love it. It's kind of a big flower, but it'll go with it, I think. Oop, I need some chapstick. Mm -hmm. It does, right? I love it with the sewing on it. Mm, no, you're lucky, Bonnie. <laughs> One man's crazy is another man's lucky. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's see this. Hmm. Oh, okay, that could look cute here. The rose off to the side. Okay. I'm into it. Eula is sewing along with me. Remember, I said that you inspired me to pull up my sewing machine. I decided to make a sample. Well, all my pretty switches. Oh, that's good. Yep, you have to be able to work out the tension in your machine, sewing on paper with all sorts of stitches to get used to it. Yep. Smart idea, you love. Oh, dang, I don't think I actually stitched that together. I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't close enough. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, okay. Okay, oh, put. Back a little bit. Okay, right there. 
Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, why did I even take it off? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I sewed on one side and then I stopped. I don't know why, but I did. <clears throat> okay. There it is. That looks adorable. It looks so cute. Okay, let's go to the next one. These are so quick, too. I love it. Love, love, love. Quick projects. You guys already know. Oh, this would look pretty with this flower right here. Let's do that. <clears throat> That'll look totally precious. Over here, a little higher. adorable that little rose off to the corner i'm enjoying it i already have a nice stack pretty quickly loving it i thought i wasn't gonna have any more flowers left but i'm really really trying to stretch this out here <laughs> really really trying let's see oh we got this other bride oh no we got a couple on a motorcycle they would look fun with this blue flowers here also they would yeah let's put them on the blue flowers because that's too cute they're on a motorcycle love it It's nice and big. It'll be adorable on something. I don't know what I'm going to put these on. They might just decorate the page. They might go, I don't know, on ephemera. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but it's going to look adorable. I'm going to have a mountain of them. Yes, so sweet. <clears throat> Where do you get the flowers in my shop? They, yes, they are in my store. Um, they are right here. Let me get you the link for that. And the photos are also from my store. Um, the photos, there's only a couple left. So if you guys want to get them, grab them while you can before I restock. <clears throat> so let's go to the next one. This little girl. She looks cute. Ooh, yeah, let's put these pink flowers on top. That's cute. Thank you, thank you, Bonnie. Too kind. Now, I might go live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I am going to be probably working on my covers. So if you guys want to join me for that, 
Here's the one I just made. And here's the back of it for any, anybody who wants to know. You just end up like that. It looks pretty cute. Let's go to the next one. And, oh, this little Girl Scout. She's too cute. She's got, I think she's a Girl Scout. I don't know. She's dressed like she's ready to go out somewhere. Like, for a hike or something. And she's got these two little cats in her hat. And it's totally adorable. I'm trying to figure out how to put this. Yeah, I think I want this in front, actually. I think that would look cute, that in front. Just like that. Okay, Patricia. Yes, they're so pretty. And I just use regular stitches. You can use fancier stitches, maybe. Might be a little hard because they're tiny, but <laughs> I actually started with the bigger, wider stitch like I normally do. And then I'm like, you know what? That looks too big. I think this is smaller. And so it needs a, a smaller stitch. <coughs> and that's when I decided to go with the default settings on the stitch. So there's that one. Let's get our next one. Oop, I forgot to cut off this edge right here. Just real simple like that. And let's see what flower we can put on here. Ooh, that would look pretty like that. Let's do that. Just a little off to the side, just a tiny bit. I had so much fun in California, oh my god. And then that pizza was so good. I was telling um my husband how the pe the pizza place I went to this weekend with Rhonda and with April. I'm like that was actually like the first pizza place I remember going to like ever. Like that was my first pizza place memory was going to that pizza place. <laughs> and then we went to a thrift store in the town next to ours and I always I've gone to that thrift shop since I was a kid also. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then um, little Rhonda Lee, she lives right next to where my elementary school and my middle school is. It's kind of funny. Oh, look, there's someone in love, those little kids. Yeah, we'll put this flower there. It'll look pretty. Let's do that. Oop, why did it get stuck? I don't know. I don't know why it got stuck. Okay. Ooh, that might have gotten a little crooked, that line. <laughs> oh, well. I thought it looked good, but it didn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it's a little crooked. <laughs> this bottom line kind of slants <laughs> just a little bit here's the back of it I think I'll make a second sampler and then cut it into strips for decoration yep I did um when I sewed onto just card stock I kind of just like folded it in half and I'm like oh there you go <laughs> that'll be an embellishment too why not <laughs> Oh, you know what I've been wanting to do? I saw this video on how to make your own washi tape. And I don't know. It was, maybe I should look up other videos. But I just watched this one. And all they did was use carpet tape. So I wonder if that'll work. Or if I actually have to. Maybe there's like an updated version. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. 
But I have a lot of, oh, and it was using fabric to make washi tape, so I want to do that, definitely. You guys know I'm drowning in fabric scraps right now, so I need to figure out something else to do with those fabric scraps. Or I need to make more covers, there'll be another thing I can Okay, I think, yeah, the bobbin is messed up. Okay, Bobbin. I don't know what you're hollering about, but it's pretty much done anyways. Oh, and then I ordered these little bobbin holders. Like, there's just these little plastic things that you put on your bobbin to hold the thread. Um, I can't wait to get them. I ordered them off Amazon. And my husband got me this little red metal toolbox. And I think I could keep all my bobbins in there. And I think it would be cute. So I'm waiting for those bobbin holders so I can just have it kind of like wild in the um in the metal box that he got me. So cute. Oh, so Rosemary Morris. I'll have to watch something else. Uh, do you use these as text spots for fillers? Oh, these will just be decorations on like a page. Just decorating a page because they're so little. So I like making little embellishments. Sometimes I make them too big, but they'll just decorate the pages. Yes. Okay, next picture. This little Cupid girl or boy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yes. It looks like cute inside. It's just big old yellow flower. It looks cute. Stay tuned if you want to watch me use these to decorate because. It's going to take me a while to get to that part because I have to make the inside covers and then I have to sew the signature and then I get to decorate. But you'll see how it goes. It's uh, quite the process. Quite the process. But I'll probably just like stick these in the corner of something, you know, the corner of a page or just anything like that. So here it is, a giant flower with this little photo inside. And there you can see the back. I thought that was adorbs. So let's move on to the next one. This little mom and her daughter. Oh, here we go. This will look pretty here. This big old flower behind it. Why not? I'm into it. I am into it. Right here. Embellishments that are really easy. I love to do just like that. That looks cute. Okay. <clears throat> I could probably do a whole bunch of these in an hour. They're going by so fast. <laughs> Which again, I am in need of. So that's a okay with me. Okay, she could use something over here in this corner. Yeah, this could be cute right here. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do this way. I 
I don't know how you, how you watch and so at the same time I'm struggling, but I guess you're used to it. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh, hi, Lynn. Hi, Daisy. Caught, glad I caught you live tonight from Australia. Just love these little bell strings. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the live stream. Thanks for being here, Lynn. Welcome. Excited to be doing these. Just super easy. Once you get everything done, I mean, these little photos were not easy to cut out, but, you know, <laughs> and neither were these flowers. But, you know, once you get that done, then it's easy. <laughs> this is just a little flower off to the side. This is what it looks like on the back. Just like that. And we move on to the next one. I don't know why. You can't probably can't see it because it's not focusing very well. But this little girl, I don't know why, I swear she looks like Vladimir Putin. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know why she looks like Vladimir Putin to me, but she does. It's She looks very suspicious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I admitted it. She does. She looks like Vladimir Putin. But you know what? It's not her fault. <laughs> it's not her fault. <laughs> She does. She looks like flat out. <clears throat> it straight up looks like they Photoshop Vladimir Putin's face right there. I don't know. Big or small, I see it on the photo. It, it just looks like that. Maybe if you get the journal with this photo, maybe you'll agree. Like I said, it won't focus, but I swear. <laughs> There's the back of it. There's the front. Okay, let's move on to the next photo. Okay, this one's in blue. Gotta keep that in mind. Yes, yeah, so we use a yellow photo, yellow flower. Let's do that. Nice contrast there. No, I don't. I use a scan and cut. So the the photos are from my shop, and then um, I use a scan and cut to cut them out. If you guys want to check out uh, the section of the flowers that I have, here are my the flowers you can cut out yourself. If you have a scan and cut or any other program, you can use that as well. Uh, let me see. Floral clip art. Let's just call it that. Or um, I also have them in sets in my mystery boxes where they're already cut out for you. If you don't have a program to do that in case, just in case, I'll leave that link also. Right there. Okay, so that's that one. Let's move it along, move it along. Let's do this one with the little balloon and this nice little couple. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the balloon. Mm might just not be a good candidate for one of these. Let me move on to the next one. I don't like being frustrated. <laughs> Kills my creativity. So let's just move it along. Move it along. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Um. Oh, she's coming out of a shell. I just noticed. Okay, she's coming. 
coming out of a shell. It's a little too big though. I do have a little one of it. Ah, let's do the little one. Right there. There we go. Daisy, which mixture box contains flowers? They both do. Both of the mystery boxes have flowers. It's just one of them has journal cards. But they all have flowers in them. I'm working on coming out with a set that's just flowers, but that might be a long time from now. <laughs> Okay, here's this one. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. And Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for joining us. We've got a nice pile of embellishments already. Let me see how many I made. These are so quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We got 24 of them done in the last 30 minutes. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, Carol. I see you, Carol. I see you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we could just put this little one right here. I think that would look good. this one really simple just a little flower off to the side of this little photo <laughs> I'm glad you got up in time Patricia <laughs> those naps man those naps you think oh, I'm gonna get up in an hour I mean you're right <laughs> it happens to the best of us <laughs> Get this little girl here. She's too cute. Yes, let's get it here off to the side a little bit. Slightly tilted. One second. I gotta blow my nose. My nose has been really nice today. <sighs> Despite it being windy yesterday, it was so windy. And today, too, is my kind of windy. Which is good, you know, to keep it fresh. I would like one more month of freshness, but I don't know. It's kind of going to be in the 80s, I think. Or we'll see. I got to go get that air conditioning unit I've been wanting. <laughs> Daisy, if your sewing machine is lulling Bonnie to sleep, then maybe you should do sewing as is Mar. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit here and sew. I do have a lot of projects I could do with a lot of sewing in them. <laughs> I don't know if I could do a project with me not talking, though. Is that what ASMR is? Do you talk? Here's this one right here. It's the back of it. I don't know if you ASMR people talk. I honestly don't watch ASMR, so I'd have to watch it <laughs> in order to even know what to do. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, maybe the little. Let's see. What can we put? Oh, we could put this little rose here. No, not really. We can't. Not really. <laughs> uh, let's put this over here. I don't know why I think it looks good. 
the orange and the brown. It's a good look. It's a good look. The photos are about, let me get my ruler. I think they're like a quarter, an inch and a quarter by two inches and a quarter. About, because they all kind of range. Uh, that's points, inches, here we go, inches, yeah, it's about an inch and a quarter, almost inch and a half, almost inch and a half on this one, but like I said, they all vary by two inches and a quarter. Yep, so they're really teeny tiny, and I achieved this by printing out my ephemera packs, um, four pages on one instead of four pictures per page. So if you guys want to check them out, you can also print them out and just, you know, get some photo paper. And you'll have photos, basically. It's a good resource. Uh, there's these two sets. There is the set number eight, and then there's a set number nine. One's kids, one is uh, women. Okay, so that looks adorable. Just off to the side a little bit, just like that. It looks so pretty. Okay, so now we got this girl over here. She's in blue. Mm -hmm. Let's put these little flowers here. And I like to... I like to intersect them sometimes, so I like to put this particular yellow, uh, uh, pink flower just like this. So it kind of intersects with the whole photo. Like that. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Oh, I'm so happy, Amy. I'm so happy you love it. Thank you so much for your support. Let's see. This one. I am good. Woohoo. It's a good night today. I don't have to use my heater or nothing. And I feel really fresh and comfortable. I love it. I got to enjoy this month <laughs> before the heat comes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, here's this photo. This lady in pink with a little flower by her face. Looking real cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Down to the nitty gritty, the last of my flowers here. Oh my gosh. Crazy how that happens, huh? There we go. Let's put it in front of, in the middle of this one. Super big. Oh, awesome, Christy. I'm glad they arrived here. I haven't used stamps in so long, so I was really nervous about it. <laughs> I go to the mail office and I'm like <clears throat> trying to ship off my little photos and they're so light. <laughs> they're so light. I guess I could have used stamps. I've never used a stamp in my life. So it's just like... <laughs> I have no idea how stamps work. <laughs> but I guess I know how much these, this particular uh, item. <laughs> Okay, here we go with that right there. It looks so cute. We have such a nice stash here going. I am so proud of myself. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so there's this blue here. With all these ladies, and they're having a nice tea party. Yes, nice, a nice cup of tea. <laughs> So let's see what we do, because I don't know. 
I know exactly what I'm going to do here. Oh, this would look pretty with this rose like that. Usually when I do that, when I do this, I like to cut off the little stem here. So it just looks like it ends in the in the leaf. Let's do that. It finally got to me and I finally started cleaning up my craft room. <laughs> Sometimes I get, I mean, I could be, I'm a messy person by nature. Um, but someone in my workspace in particular, probably not in my life, but in my workspace in particular, like it gets to a point where I feel like I can't function anymore. And then it's like, oh my God, it, I'm like, I'm like, fine, I'll clean it. <laughs> it takes me a long time to get there though. Here we go. Yes, I'm still having my my half price off sale. Uh, you have to have fifty dollars worth of product in your uh, cart, and then it'll get reduced down to twenty five. So here's the back of oops. Here's the back of it, right there. Where do I get the flowers from? They are in my shop. They are either in the mystery boxes, or you can buy them and print them out and cut them out yourself. Here is the link for the mystery boxes right there and then i'll leave the link also to oh i don't have it uh i did post earlier the the floral clip art um section of my shop where you can get the flowers and cut them out yourself if that's what you're into <laughs> laurel oh i didn't get this clip art Ugh. i'm like squishing myself okay so there's that one let's move it along to the next one Hey, little Rhonda Lee, how are you, girl? I want more pizza, Rhonda. <laughs> no, but really, I do. <laughs> no, but really, you should mail me some. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Let's see, what do we do? What do we do with this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not the pink one. If I had a yellow one, maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what, 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 what to do here. Don't seem to like anything. Mm. Okay, let's put it like this. Um, yes, more of that pizza. So good. Toppers. <laughs> And Rhonda's hoping to move into our new craft room soon so she can get back to making videos. Rhonda, somebody commented on the video um, on our haul that, like, they missed your videos. And I remember you telling me that you're about to move into your new craft studio. So hopefully you'll get back to it. Thank you, Rhonda. Isn't that precious? It's so precious. <laughs> they're so tiny and then they're so easy so I have like so many of them now <laughs> okay hang on let me get some water I'm thirsty oh my goodness oh here it is one more bro oh my god all this talking <laughs> If you guys don't subscribe to Rhonda, make sure you do. She is, like, pretty much a junk journal legend. <laughs> She's awesome. Let's get something here. Let's see. 
Oh, this might be cute here. Or it might be way too big. One of the two. It's either precious or it's too big. Um. Let's see. Awesome. I'm sure you've got people waiting on you, Rhonda. They want to see what you're up to, girl. Let's just put it down here. Here's this one. Another little one down. It's a little girl on it. Here's the back of it if you want her to see. There she is. Your sewing machine is silver. Oh, yeah, you said that. Mm. Hi, Wilma. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us here as we sew flowers onto pictures, as we sew flowers onto everything and anything. <laughs> Just like that. Yep, that's cute. What is this doing here? Wait, what is this? Okay. Jennifer, welcome. Welcome, welcome. That's precious. It doesn't really focus when it's up close because I don't have it to focus when it's up close. <laughs> Otherwise, this would all be blurry. <laughs> okay, here's this little girl in her little tutu. In her little tutu. Yes, let's just do this little flower here on top. Okay. she is a little ballerina with this little pick this little uh flower on top just like so cute so simple add it to the stash look at that it's a nice stash here <laughs> got 10 more minutes Let's see what else we can put together let's see let's see what's up bubble what's up bubble Oh no. What's up? Oh, he brought me his toy. <laughs> now I gotta throw it. Okay, give me one moment. Boo boo. What's up, boo boo? You wanna say hi, boo boo? <laughs> a little. Kid, hang on. Let me throw his toy. He won't leave me alone. All right. <laughs> Ready? Go get it. <laughs> I throw his toy down the hallway and he goes to get it. He's such a silly little cat. <laughs> he 
He wa he he brought me his toy, Rhonda, because he wanted to play fetch. That boy is too much, you guys. <laughs> I decided to change it to this red flower instead. So pretty. I love it. Okay, looks like we got ten. Let's see. Let's get this. Ooh, this little like uh this little girl in a little costume. She looks cute. Let's just add these pink flowers here on top. Um, yeah, and we can add this one too. Let's add these two flowers here, just like that. That would look cute. Let's do it. This right here. Alright, so if you guys want to join me tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m., I'm going to go live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be working on my junk journal covers. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm working on my junk journal collection for 2019. It's going to be uh, for spring of 2019. It's going to be about 20 junk journals. So that's why I've got so many embellishments here to do. Like, wow, I've got so much to do, you guys. So I'm just working on it, you know, piece by piece, but I've got the rest of the, the month, the rest of this month and the rest of the next month to work on it and really get it done. So, I mean, 20 junk journals and 30 or so days. I've already got a head start, of course. I've already um, made the covers and I've been working on some embellishments, but it's time to work on the inside covers tomorrow afternoon and then I'll probably go back to making embellishments in the night. <laughs> probably I think that's what I'll end up doing okay okay right there how pretty with the little flower okay a couple more left here this one Little lady here with the little banjo, <laughs> banjo like thing. With her little banjo. Let's put this one on here. That would look pretty. It's kind of hiding the whole flowers, but it's okay. <laughs> so. This last part. And then this last one right here. That looks great right there. The little girl in her little costume with a little banjo. I love it. Aw, thank you, Rhonda. Just, you know, I try and do something for an hour, and I try to do as best as I, I try and give it all for my, you know, for an hour. <laughs> and sometimes, and that's a good thing for me. For about an hour, and then I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I'll stop now, because sometimes you just sit there and stare at something. Might as well wait till you're actually productive. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. There is that one. 
adorable with her little it's a mom with like two kids she looks cute oh uh, thank you eula everybody's so nice here <laughs> everybody is too kind let's put this here with this purple and this blue why not oh wait i think yes i have one of the i want like this red flower but i don't think i have any more of them <laughs> think they're all done. Oh, let's do this one instead because I like contrasting colors. You know, this blue and this red is a nice mix. Let me just cut off this little stem. And then it can look like a continuous flower. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so this will be the last one put together. And I want to thank everybody for joining me to, for tonight's live. Like I said, I'll be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll still be going live at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at night. So if you're not doing anything, you can go ahead and join me. And if you have not joined the Cool Kids uh, Facebook group, please make sure and do that. I am going to be um, leaving the link. Uh, here you go. And also in the description down below so you guys can join us and give us some inspiration. I want to thank Lil Rhonda Lee for hanging out. Jennifer, Eula, Patricia, Wilma, Juno63, and Christy, Lori, Patricia, thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys tomorrow again at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then at my usual time at 9 p.m. So thank you guys so much. Look at this nice pile of little embellishments I have here. Give this video a thumbs up for easy embellishments for your junk journals. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have fun crafting. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, you guys. Bye.